I'm doing I'm doing well. I want a glass of wine. You're should more get, than welcome. Should I give us a glass of wine? Sure. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Am I back with wine or whiskey? I haven't decided yet. Ooh, you got whiskey there. Yeah, oh yeah. We did a whiskey ginger. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on the channel. Uh, for everybody who doesn't know, this is Monica and Jonathan. Uh, they are a lovely couple uh, that I know here who actually took me to my first Indian wedding. Uh, uh, that I ever went to that, uh, yeah, that apparently I heard a bunch of songs that I've now grown to love that had no idea would uh, ever be a part of my life. So thank you. Um, and Monica is a wonderful chef. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank I, you, thank I, you. I'm expecting some bread soon. Um, <laughs> indeed that olive bread is so good anyways, but we'll get it soon. Um, they watched Kahani, the 2012 film star, uh, directed by Sujoy Josh and written by Sujoy Josh, starring Vidya Balin and Nawazuddin Siddiqui and a couple of people, Saswata Chatterjee as well. Um, Jonathan, I know, Monica, you, you grew up in an Indian household, so you, you saw a lot of classic Indian films. That's what you've mostly mm -hmm. seen, right? Correct. Not, not a lot of more modern uh, films from India, uh, right? No. In fact, my, my family uh, kind of poo-poos on the modern films. I remember <laughs> when Slumdog Millionaire came out, and my mom was so offended. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Indians were. Um, yeah. And Jonathan, you just know it through. She's shown you some classics, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm, 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 I'm starting to become more familiar actually what was the one that we watched where i was like oh they, they ripped some terminator 2 music with... oh that was dawn the original dawn though with amitabh oh amitabh bachchan dawn <laughs> i was all about that one man that was like pure like 70s like cop action like yeah i haven't seen that one but uh i, I hear about it a lot um so i need to i need to watch it but what did you guys think of this film? I dug it. Mm -hmm. I was feeling it. Yeah, I was feeling it. But I'm like, I'm like into like Born Identity kind of movies. So for for that reason, I was it like sucked me in. You know, it had that yeah. espionage thing going. Yeah. Uh huh. Monica, did you like it? I did. I did. You know, I I thought I was going to miss all of the songs because that's such a big part of watching an Indian movie. Yeah. And when I first, I mean, before we even started watching it, I was like 90 minutes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know where you, you used to like, you, you're used to committing your whole day and night to it. Yeah, an epic, you know. Yeah, we just watched a three and a half hour film just the other day, uh, yeah. so yeah, it's 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 quite short uh, for 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 an Indian film, uh, but I, I loved what the director did with it. Uh, so let's talk about. Do, were you familiar with uh, Vidya, the the lead no. actress? No. no. What do What do you think she, about her? She's the lead, right? Yes, she's yeah. the lead. Yeah. Well, no, I hadn't seen her before. Okay. Uh, and what do you think about her? I thought she was great. Yeah, you yeah. know, I thought she was super believable too, um, in all the different stages of her throughout the film. Um, but I thought she was super believable and she was good at playing like the subtleties, like, like how she wanted to keep the room clean. And she was just like, you know, like, that's just who I am. And then you find out later, like, what that really meant. Like, she was cleaning off, like, fingerprints and stuff like that. In case, so they couldn't figure out who she was. I really like the subtleties of the movie. Yeah. Well, she, she was also, yeah. she was great because I, I was definitely, like, sympathetic. You know, she really pulled off the, the strength but vulnerability balance. Like, I... Very complex. Like I dug that. I, I thought she did a great performance. Um, and the to uh, um, the 
the Durga festival mm -hmm. and that goddess and like she was you know playing that role yep um but we yeah. didn't realize it the whole time you oh, know no. but I, obviously i figured that you would pick up on that whole element of obviously the durga puja uh the element of it uh but how how soon did you figure out the twist uh and for anybody who hasn't seen this film obviously there's a big old twist there at the end uh how spoilers how try not to they got us. They I totally got it, us. Yeah. And you know, cool. yeah. I yeah. Did you did you did you uh, put out a like a eek when uh, she got kicked in the stomach? Oh, totally. Totally, yeah. <laughs> I was right along with her, man. I yeah. was like, oh. Especially since I've seen so many Indian movies, like they're not above kicking a pregnant woman. In the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not they. We we are not above. <laughs> and what is it? Yeah. I'll kick a pregnant woman. <laughs> so they, it, it, it got you there at the end, right? Yeah, Good. for sure. For sure. I'm, I'm yeah. so glad. That's uh, I uh, when I watched it, I I didn't I caught on to it probably. Uh, I can't remember exactly when, but it was just before it it happened. Uh, but it was still like uh, absolutely shocking. Uh, when it when it happened what did you think of the other supporting character you saw one of my favorite actors uh ever in this film his name was Nawazuddin Siddiqui he played Mr. Khan Khan yeah, yeah the the really badass uh uh agency guy who yeah you thought was a bad guy for a while uh <laughs> uh and so what you what, he flops, right? So yeah. he's he, he's a bad guy. Then you're like, okay, cool. He's on our side. And then, no, he's not. Yeah. Damn it. What side are we on? I yeah. actually, yeah, he um, he's really pissed off, that guy. You know? <laughs> What's he so pissed off about? So is... But so is Mr. Chatterjee, right? The, like, the fat lead cop, he's really pissed off. What are these guys upset about? Yeah, the... Uh, they're, like, that... really, they're, like, really agitated, right? Yeah. Yeah, I I loved both of their performance. Bob the 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 Swasata, Swasata Chatterjee. I I'm, I apologize. I always mispronounce his name. He's a really famous Bengali actor. They're actually Is that right? yeah. Uh, they're doing a sequel to this film. Uh, or I don't know if it's a sequel or a prequel, but the, okay. it's it's about that character, the Bob character, which is. Weird because I have questions about Bob, okay? Okay. Here's a guy who's supposed to be a very fearsome killer, right? Yeah. yeah. But then when he's confronted and he's armed, mind you, with a pistol, he's like running away. Why is he running away? And the other thing that's weird, okay, is that... As he's running away, he seems to start to have this hallucinatory, like, you guys notice that? Like, he starts to hallucinate in the alleyway, and I'm like, what's going on with this guy? Like, there's this weird, unexplained, like, is that why he's so weird? Because he's prone to hallucinations? Yeah, and I, don't... That, you know... <laughs> I don't remember hallucinating. Oh, yeah, I'm... I, I didn't, I'm all I didn't catch on this... that part. Yeah, he, he has the... I just, I get, no, I'm just, because I was really mindful of what they were doing with the editing yeah. in that scene. So he starts looking up like in the alleyway and they start to, you know, make the footage look trippier and stuff. Like he's having some, it, it, it basically puts you in like this first person POV of like, almost like he's on drugs or he's hallucinating, you know, it was a weird unexplained moment in the movie mm. you know and so i kind of latched onto that but i was kind of like fascinated with the bob character anyway because he was just they 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 made this guy so strange yeah you know which worked for me up until the point where i had trouble with mm. he's confronted and he starts to run and suddenly he took like dude you 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 have the the spine to go and assassinate people in these, you know, like he's really brutal and cold, right? Yeah. And then it, but why is he then running from this like lowly cop mm -hmm. that he could easily shoot? I don't know. So that I yeah. I had a I had trouble with that. Gotcha. But, okay. But everything else was like 
totally cool. I could see that. Totally. Um, yeah. yeah. It's the, the sequel I be, is either, it's a prequel or I don't know for sure, but it's actually directed by this director, Sujo Josh's daughter, I believe. He's, nice. uh, he's having her direct this sequel. We actually got to interview the director of this film. He's a super, super cool guy, super nice guy. Um, but yeah, the, the, the other character, Nawazan and Siddiqui, who plays the inspector. Yes. I love him. He's one of my favorite actors. Just not just Indian actors, just actors in general. You don't yeah. see the full scope of what this guy can do in this film. But yeah. he, he plays one of the greatest villains you'll ever see in your life. Oh, I love, love Indian villains. I can, yeah. I can totally, I can totally see that because he had such an edge in mm -hmm. in this performance, even. Yeah. What was the movie where he played the villain that you liked? Oh, a bunch. Um, oh. There's like the the big. The, there's a film called Gangs of Wasapur, which is about five and a half hours. So normal. Uh, nice. <laughs> uh, film. <laughs> Uh, we, it's a, they actually broke it into two parts, but it's it's by a director named Anya Kashyap. It's uh, it's I think one of the greatest gangster films of all time. Uh, it's so nice. so it's it's a very Godfathery style story, but in India, um, Martin Scorsese actually watched it and 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 loves this film. Uh, oh, so it's wow. it's one that you might, if yeah. you like gangster stuff, you'd be, really be into this film. But he's also done so many other films where he plays a villain. He's there's a film called Raman Raghav 2.0, where he plays a yeah. psycho a psychopath. Um, yeah. So, he, he, but he also does he does everything really, really, really well. There's a film called The Lunchbox with Irfan Khan, where he just plays this normal dude and he plays it so well. So he's he's just he's one of but my. He's got a range. Yeah. He's so, so good. I love him. Well, what I love when he first shows up in this movie, what I love is when he comes and he kind of takes over their local police station. Mm -hmm. And he, like the presence that he commands in that in those moments is really cool. And he's really edgy. And like I, I was buying that all the way how the other cop, the, like, the local cops were like afraid of him. And they, he kind of just came in and took over. Mm hmm. Good, good stuff. Yeah, Vidya, Vidya, the the lead actress, is uh, also a, a really, really good actress who um, we yeah. have we haven't even explored her enough, but I like her a lot. Uh, normally, I ask because I've done this with other uh, Americans. Usually, they have never seen any Indian films. You guys obviously are used to the classics, um, but obviously, I, I would normally ask, was there anything culturally you didn't understand? But I'm pretty sure the answer is no to that one. <laughs> Well, was there anything that you didn't understand? No, I. No, this one I was I was, I was like locked in with it, and I I was following yeah. culturally as well. Yeah, especially yeah. I uh, I'm, I don't know if Monica explained it to you, but obviously the the whole Durga Puja event yeah. that was going on, that whole festival right. that they have, that was obviously a big character. Uh, in the entire film, the goddess, uh, her name's Durga Puja, right? That's, that is the goddess, right? Durga's, Dur Durga's the goddess. Durga yes. Puja is the festival. See, even, I don't yeah. know. I don't even know. Um, yeah. yeah. Puja is like a, like a prayer, spiritual, like, um, gathering. It's, it's not a, yeah. it, the, it's separate from a festival. Like you can have a puja for anything. Gotcha. Like if you just prayed to Durga, that's doing a puja too. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> I learn stuff every day. Uh, well, I, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, would you guys be interested in watching more Indian films? Of course. <laughs> oh, let's yeah, uh, let's keep doing this. And I like I like watching it this way because you're introducing me to stuff that is familiar yet different. Because mm -hmm. like the the whole dynamics of the cops like. You might have you've said a few times like what are they so angry about? What are they so salty about? Like, but that was familiar to me because Indian cops are always depicted that way. Like, yeah. there's the like lazy local cops, and yeah. then the like you know important the guy who's like skilled and competent. Yeah, so, yeah. You, yeah. You know that that's typical, and um, I do I do think that because I grew up watching movies from before my time but yeah. also as i was growing up and my parents always watched whatever was current so i also watched the like 80s and 90s type of 
Indian movies too, yeah. um, which really romantic and drawn out and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, during that time period, it was really, it was, it was like Indian culture was trying to mimic American culture, mm. but they were decades behind. Yeah. And I feel like with this movie, like they were able to find their own voice yeah, for sure. in, in a more stylized fashion that wasn't specifically Indian or specifically Western. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I found that really refreshing because yeah. it, it felt true to the situation and, and, and where they were mm-hmm. rather than trying to be somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And in, in Indian cinema, I think currently, even though they, I think, from what I've learned, the golden age, you know, people always debate on when the golden age of Indian cinema was, but obviously the 90s were very overdramatic, Shah Rukh Khan, <laughs> romance over the top. Yeah. Uh, but now they, they've kind of come into their own and there's so many great films that have come out from every different region of India as well. Not just because obviously this is uh, from Bollywood, um, but there's all the other language, even um, uh, Punjab, we've only seen one Punjabi film, um, but like Malayalam industry, Bengali industry, Tamil, uh, all those industries are doing, and Marathi as well, they've just, like they're putting out Oscar worthy films. Um, so it's, it's, wow. it, it's quite insane um, how, how well they're doing, but how like here in America, obviously we, we just don't know because they're, they're, they're not, ex- the the reach that they put out in India doesn't get to us, or at least we don't listen to it. Um, so it's, right, it's one right. of those. Well, they you know they like to say in Hollywood, you know, there's this concept of because now it, there's all these different genre uh, Bollywood films too, right? So in Hollywood, they like to talk about oh, you know, which filmmaker is is doing the most to advance a given genre right or like further a genre well they're doing it in these bollywood films like this is you know like a there's a an espionage like jason bourne element to this but then it's its own thing too yeah and so um it seems like the more classic movies are like taking inspiration from and sort of like you know following in american film footsteps whereas Films like this are so cool because they're like going ahead and like pushing the genres further. Yeah, you know, for sure. And like, and we have to catch up with them with some of these, you know, because they're breaking new ground. Yeah, there's some films that I could show you that that would, that would blow your mind, and and the, yeah. the, the amount of yeah. artistry that that comes out of India, it's it's quite. And there's a film that I could recommend to you that I, that will piss you the hell off. Ah, oh, it'll be so amazing if you want to watch that film. Uh, it just the the it the it's it's called the Great Indian Kitchen. It's about the patriarchy in in in, in parts of India, uh, and how this this woman is um, subjected to it in her home. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, but it's absolutely brilliant. It's like a normal, uh, a normal day thing. Yeah. So it's this is just her normal life. But uh, yeah. it's it's incredible. It just came out this year, actually. It came out in January. Uh, it's a really good film. But I'm so glad you guys liked this film. Uh, what let let us know down in the comments what uh, what film we should let them watch next. And uh, have a great night, guys. Mm-hmm.